Hey, what's up? In this video, I want to show you two VS Code extensions that make organizing your code way less of a hassle. They actually make it, you know, kind, kind of enjoyable, as enjoyable as you would think it gets organizing code, right? But they're pretty cool. One of them is really new and users on the Reddit where I found it, like it came out a day ago, it got like 2000 installs. They say, you know, something along the lines of, thank God it exists. Cause it's actually pretty neat and it's very helpful. So let me show you exactly what these two extensions do and how you can benefit from them in organizing your code. So first one, very, very simple. And it's the one that's out for a longer time. It got way more installs as well. It's called Blockman. And what Blockman allows you to do is it highlights whatever block of code you are currently in. So, you know, it, it does what it says on the can pretty much. Essentially, wherever you are in the code, the box is then highlighted. So you always know where you are and where the current selection would end. For example, if you're somewhere in the React component, that's what will be highlighted for you. That's where the box is going to be. Now let's get to the second one, which I think is actually a bit more impressive. It's, it's just cooler. And this is the newer one, brand new, came out like a day ago on Reddit. People really like it. And for good reason. It essentially allows you to make better collapsibles in your code. So you know when you fold code in VS Code, right? It looks kind of weird and it's not ideal and users have been wanting some minor changes to that for about seven years, but nothing has happened yet. And now some developer took it into his own hands and finally made some changes that have long been awaited. So let's go through some examples together so you get the hang of it. And I think the third feature of this is actually gonna be the coolest, the most useful one. So first off, when you collapse without this extension, then you can see the function and then there's one more bracket in the other line and it looks ugly as hell. Let's be real here, the, the other bracket serves no purpose. With the extension, it's all moved into one line. Also, with the extension, you know how many lines are being folded. You kind of know when using VS Code and you got a calculator in your head because it shows the line that you folded at and then the line, you know, the next line in your code, whether that be like 50 lines ahead or 100 or however long you fold it, but you don't know exactly how many lines there are and now you can. Okay, third one being the best one, as I mentioned earlier, cause it really is. Cause you get the parameters that go into the function in the folded line. So take a look at this, for example, it's a TRPC mutation and this looks really good. I, I just gotta respect the attention to detail that this developer has put into this very simple folding library. Arguably one of the more cooler features as well, when you close something in JSX, so specifically for React, Next.js, it also shows the closing tag cause VS Code does not do that by default for whatever reason. Nobody knows it's been wanted for seven years. Um, this extension does that. Also, when you fold objects, I know that sounds really underwhelming, but it also shows what is inside of the object. And that's, that's pretty neat. Like that's a cool addition. There's a bunch of examples on the extension VS Code page. So if you want, you can try it out for yourself. Um, I'll link it in the description as well. Just in case you want to try it out, you can just click and get to the extension that I'm talking about. All right, that's just two really neat, not insanely life-changing, but pretty neat extensions I want to show you because I think you might benefit from them. That's all I want to share. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.